Um, right, okay, we're going to have a quick interlude and we're going to do what we call uh, Cat's Curiosity. So this is where uh, Cat's will bring us a piece of science news that he's, that he's interested in over the last week. And then we're going to have a quick chat about it. What have we got for us this week, buddy? Well, this week I've got something that uh, I'm, I noticed a headline on the news, uh, BBC, or the, the old BBC News Science section about hurricanes and how they were named. And... You know what? I think people in America might be really familiar with this, but to me, it was new. It shocked me. So I'm going to I'm going to share this with you. Okay. Were you aware that when the hurricane season approaches, that the names of the hurricanes for each year are already predetermined? Did you know that? I, I didn't. I didn't know that. I thought it was alphabet, and they pick it when it comes. Well, there's there's an alphabet, uh, but, but not all the letters of the alphabet are included. But okay. they do have. Uh, I forget which ones have, have dropped, but they they select the names for the season. Um, So they are in alphabetical order, but they're already known. And then there's a surplus list. And that surplus list we get onto if there's more hurricanes than expected. And twice in the past 15 years, we've had to jump onto that surplus list of names for hurricanes because we've had, you know, a regularly, um, how can I put it, active hurricane seasons. And last year was one of those seasons and they had to use Greek letters to name some of the hurricanes. And apparently it was so confusing to a lot of people and the discussion on the internet tended to revolve around the names of the hurricanes rather than the, the damaging effect of the hurricanes themselves, yeah. but they decided to no longer use Greek letters to name hurricanes. And I knew none of that. So there we go. That's awesome. I knew, I knew the alphabet thing, but I yeah. was the same. I, th- I thought that, you know, they just kind of make it up. They're like, Oh, it's an F or it's a G year. Does that mean that I could look ahead at the list and be like, Oh, when does Greg come up? When am I going to strike? <laughs> You could. There's a, a video on the CNN websites where it's actually CNN, not BBC, where I got it from. And it actually shows you the names for this upcoming year. So you can see what the names will be. Um, but I don't think Greg was on, but maybe if I drop him an email, I'll see what I can do. I, don't know. <laughs> I also want to know with the Greek letters, it's like, you know, Alpha, you know, Phi, um, Sigma. Like, what, what do you, what, what names start with those? Well, they didn't, I don't think they do the Greek ones in alphabetical order. I think they just oh. use. Um, so Theta was one that they used last year and then there was another right. one that sounded a bit like Theta and I can't remember what they were but they don't go through the Greek ones in alphabetical they just choose cool sounding Greek names but then they decided that they were complicated and too similar so instead of deciding to choose other Greek symbols they just said no we're not going to use any Greek symbols whatsoever see as nerds how much would we love for something to have like a Greek symbol that we know you know so it's like mu you know like oh yeah coefficient of yeah. fraction eh? <laughs> <laughs> So is that oh, the, is that right for the UK ones as well, the UK storms, or do we make it up as we go along? Probably, don't we? I have no idea, but I feel it's massively under researched now for this oh, section. Fu- honestly, it probably is though, isn't it? It's probably like right, right. What the storms come over? What are we on? Uh, B, Bob. There we go. Yeah, it's Hurricane Bob. Put it out to the news. It's Hurricane. <laughs> it's a uh, Storm Bob. It's not a Hurricane, is it? Storm. Bob. It's the UK. We'd have. It'd be like Keith. Storm Keith. Still Keith. Oh, <laughs> We'd have like I feel them. like Keith. <laughs> I feel like a Storm Keith would do a lot of damage. I don't know if that. I Storm Dan though. That would never happen, would it? Because a Storm Dan that would be like a, a mild breeze, wouldn't it? Knocks <laughs> oh, like. your wheelie bin over. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Uh, 